I can pay what little coffers I have, see if the rumours are true that, that the dark-robed one and uh, Trakel are indeed behind this. You get to that Stephanie has more information that she is not Stephanie, volunteering. I feel like you have more information than you <laughs> <laughs> I was hesitant at first, but then when she sees all that sweet, sweet money... <laughs> the money starts like, to yeah, clink yeah, yeah. under the table. We will end the session there. All right. You will head off towards Darkwood to find any more information you can about this undead army and its origins. Welcome back to table two of Tales of the Misfits. So, where did we leave off in table one? Uh, I would like you guys to give me a recap. Mm. Yes, yes. Pop off Alex. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, what happened was, uh, we met Stephanie, mm -hmm. who had been in the fight. Mm -hmm. She's a druid. What fight? The big old fight. The old <laughs> fight we had. The, the big old, old one. Now, the big town fight in Dimwood. Gotcha. Um, and then we, yeah, we went to her house and she told us a story about her son Liam, the leather worker. I thought it was her oh, boyfriend. That's lover. Definitely, her son. definitely not her son. It was her um, lover. Um, <laughs> and oh my I God. thought it was her son. <laughs> well, I thought it was her lover. Oh, that's changed things in my head a lot, actually. <laughs> So anyway, so it was her lover, um, and... I'm glad the rest of you picked up on it, otherwise <laughs> yeah, I'd nice have been like, work. man, I did not describe that well. <laughs> what did I think that? Um, and then he was killed by two hooded weird people. One was called Trakel. Is that how Trakel? we pronounce Trakel. it? Trakel. Trakel. Um, but we're suspicious of Stephanie. We think she might be some sort of vampire or something. Mm. Is that she said she was, right? She straight up confirmed. Sorry, she said she, she straight was. up confirmed <laughs> that she's a vampire <laughs> by showing you her teeth. That's they right. Came out she like showed that. us, duh. Her tusks, <laughs> right. her tusks kept bottom. turned into Oh, I can picture teeth. Rob doing that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was the worst person to this read. No. <laughs> Yeah, I you're doing like a, great a great yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, One of the benefits really of making your players do the recap for you <laughs> is that it really highlights when you've thought something was really important and they haven't picked up on it, and then you're like, oh, okay, I need to make, I need to stress that again this session. Mm. Okay. So I, I like to let you do it because then you're like, oh, mm. that's what they found important in that session, and this stuff yeah. they ignore entirely. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's the others though. They probably picked up on a lot more, like the fact that Liam was the lover, not the son. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Stephanie's vampire. She was turned yeah. by, um, by. Trakel and the other one. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie was under the impression that they wanted her because she was a half orc because they could disguise better. That she Blend in a little better. Mm. Yeah. Which means they might be sleeper agents. Yeah. They might be training vampiric sleeper agents. Yeah. Um, what else? What, what, what did Stephanie want from you guys? She wanted <laughs> someone to go figure out what happened, right? She, Generally. Yep. She has, she has, she has, she just, we're getting I there. would hope that that's what she wanted. She wanted, she, yeah. so she has some, uh, somewhat amnesia about the whole event. She doesn't know exactly what happened to her. No. But more, so she says. <laughs> so she says, exactly right. Uh, but more importantly, what does she want for you to do on her behalf? What happens, what, what can she not do while she's in this state? And what does she want well, I guess she can't from Trakel? Go in the sun. She can't go in the sun, <laughs> correct. So. She, uh, she stated that if you manage to defeat or destroy the one who created you, it gives you certain freedoms as a vampire. Yeah, oh, that's uh, right. That. Freedoms yeah. that you are not uh, otherwise entitled to. So she can't. She's limited in what she can do. She has to obey the commands of her of her master, as it were, the one who created her. And she wants for you to, if possible, work out how to de defeat uh, whoever it was that turned her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very and good. All right, go on. I was just going to say, at the battle, they were all undead. Mm -hmm. And Trakal was there on a rock and shh, boom, and then disappeared. Yeah. And we think he's in Darkwood. Mm. Very good. Nice. Yes. Very and good. Up, and probably <laughs> up to no good. Probably. Yeah, probably. Would, probably. One would assume. Maybe yeah. up to no good. Yeah. Uh, mm. I will also say something that you made a big deal of in the last table session and nobody has mentioned yet. Oh. Auric? <laughs> Ulrich as well, yeah. Oh, that was, oh, that, we that love well. Ulrich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, every time one of the uh, undead died. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Did you guys see did that? You did you notice that? I did notice that. Every time one of the undead died, that's some sort right. of uh, ember seems right. to extinguish. Uh, and yes, you, you, you 
murdered slash saved one of the NPCs by turning him into an undead. Um, saved. So, so, so now he's now he's gonna now he's gonna have to come to terms with being an, a vampire, which is pretty exciting. Oh, nice. Uh, congratulations, well done on the recap. You get a hero point to start oh, the game. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. Do I really Thank deserve you. that? Thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. Where are you going first? <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you. Oh my god, this has your initials on it. It does. Yeah, it, does. it has my logo yeah. on one side and the yeah, Violet Elite logo on the other. That's cool. really cute. cute. Oh. oh, I didn't. I'm gonna take that and sell it online. Anyone yeah. want to buy it? Who wants it? <laughs> Merchandise. Alrighty, so we start off where we left off uh, with you just coming to the conclusion of your meeting with the mayor and Stephanie. Mm. Uh, you've been tasked with heading into Darkwood if you uh, if you sh should wish. You were given 25 gold pieces to uh, to aid you on your journey, um, and uh, and it's up to you how you go about doing so and how long it takes. Uh, you, it should be early morning still, so I don't think you need a long rest. You pricked yourself, so you've got uh, one less point of hit points, but I think everybody else is uh, still tip-top shape. Mm. Uh, so you're setting off straight away? I reckon we should go and get an eggs penny. <laughs> yeah. 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 You go to the, you, you, you go to the tavern again, the gloopy slop. <laughs> the uh, I like the... one with salmon, please. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. That's, that's I miss the ocean. <laughs> salmon would be lovely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you miss the ocean because you're <laughs> yeah. quite far inland at this point, <laughs> which is yeah. probably not the best place to be getting salmon from. <laughs> Good a, point. A shitty shack tavern in, in uh, far inland. Yes. Let's uh, let's let's roll a percentile check <laughs> to see how likely it is they have eggs Benny at the gloopy slop. Strangely, they don't. Oh, but they bring oh. you something. They bring you something that is their 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 idea of the next best thing, which is some sort of greenish yellow yolked egg on uh, a chunk of bread. Green eggs and ham. I was just about to say. Green, green eggs and ham, bro. It's almost it semi-am. Semi yeah, it's semi-am. It's semi-am. Uh, semi -am. Yeah, semi -am serves you. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm not good enough at uh, improvising lyrics on the spot, otherwise I would come up with some sort of rhyming couplets in order to serve you. Um, enter that in post. All right. Ben, ben, you can write something for the green screen. Just write a couple, of, a couple of rhyming couplets for us. Thank you very much. Hello, ma'am and madams. I'm Sam I Am. A waiter you need and a waiter I am. You're Sam I Am. Sam I Am, I am. And you only sell green eggs and ham. Indeed, indeed. It's my culinary cuisine. Too bad that I'm just not that keen. But wait, stay your plate. I have a deal for thee. A deal for me? Not just for thee, but thy party of three. Green pancakes and syrup, the best in the land. Well, it's a shame that I'd rather disband. <sighs> damn, damn. Um, <laughs> you get presented with your meh, questionable breakfasts, but you, uh, you eat up discussing amongst yourselves what your plan is. Yeah. Well, well, well. Another day and a mission for four new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited to work with you all as we head to... Is this what I sounded like last night? <laughs> <Yeah. Saturday? laughs> okay, okay, right. Right. <laughs> as we head to Dark Wood, I would vibe check how is everyone feeling? It been tense with Stephanie last night, was it not? Mm -hmm. The meeting with Stephanie was uh, like half an hour ago. It oh, was this half morning. An hour. It was like this morning. It's still the morning when you went to the mayor's. Oh, right. In that case, even more intense. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, I remember it like it was half an hour ago. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. feeling pretty confident. I love traveling and I'm excited to make some new friends. Mm. Nice. How do you mm. feel? Yeah, mm. I'm. I'm not used to being with this many people, so I'm a bit oh, nervous, you? but you seem lovely. And you I need think to we'll take any nice time. time. Thank just, you. You know, be alone and dis desensitize, and Thank you can you. do that. Arrow gets it. We, we, we've got some space for you here. <laughs> you. This, is, this is also probably the first time you've ever met a minotaur. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> you look the funny. Is not, huh? <laughs> well, um, what creature are you? You're freaking me out a bit. It's a bit of a combo of something going on. I've not seen that underwater before. Yeah, mm. I am half bull and half of a... I mean, you're 100% minotaur. I'm 100% <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. Yeah. If you were to put that like into other words, how would you describe the <laughs> I would say I'm like a very big, beautiful cow. <laughs> but I stand up on my hind legs. Okay. Don't be intimidated by me. <laughs> I, I am 
I love him. He's yeah. a lover, not a fan. But you, I'm a lover, not a fan. <laughs> he's definitely got a, hu a human top half, right, though? Mm. Minotaurs, yeah, 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 minotaurs yeah, yeah. are basically uh, humans with bull heads gotcha. and uh, bull tails sometimes. I'm, I'm a bull where it counts. <laughs> 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 um, uh, how do you <clears throat> How do you feel about just going from go straight for it then? <laughs> go for a big old walk? <laughs> yeah, look, I don't have much else to do. Yeah. So I figure. Why not? Why did you come out of the water? No, that, that's a great question. Um, hmm. That I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to leave it a mystery for the rest of the campaign. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah look, I was driven away. I won't say too much yet because I don't quite know you all yet. I don't know if I can trust you We've known each other for many months now. Yeah, I know <laughs> you, <laughs> but um, you that's know, okay. You, I'm In your own you time, on, yeah. I'm supporting. Thank I'm you. I'm the most supportive friend you've ever had. Thank you. You are actually. You're, you are. Fine. You're coming yeah. on pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I, I can do, it's support people, generally speaking. Oh, so that, continue. Yeah. Sorry, you were Thank saying. You. You were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I have a <laughs> to interrupt you in the middle of your very, <laughs> very <laughs> distressing Sorry. backstory Sorry. that you were about to come Sorry. <laughs> and anyway, nah, um, <laughs> no, yeah, I was driven away uh, essentially, and I just didn't feel welcome there anymore. I was sort of being, in my eyes, used and shunned, and so I really have no one now. Hence, why I left the water. I was as I said, driven away, and I won't get fully into it because, you know, there's plenty more episodes to cover that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I kind of just have no choice at this point. So I'm really getting to know how this all works, what a minotaur is, don't know what a cow was, which you mentioned before. Um, <laughs> just getting to know all that. So, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, it's Cows, a lot. sheep. There's a lot of yeah. farm animals to be learning about. And yeah. then add on the Stephanie rhetoric, and um, <laughs> it's all pretty intense at the moment. Just, just the rest of today's session is just introducing Buble to various animals. Yeah. You're like, let's go to a farm. We've got to, we've got to get you to a petting zoo. We've got to introduce you to some things. That could be um, fun, actually. <laughs> What do you want to see first? Um, I think I want to go and see the Leons. The what? The Leons. Like big... Lions. Oh. You want to see the Lions. Oh. L-I-O-N-S. The land vowels really trip me up. Yeah, mm. that's all right. Lions. Yeah. Um, and maybe a giraffe. What do you think about that? Giraffe. Mm. G but it's a G. I yeah. know, uh, sometimes it sounds yeah. like a J. That's very confusing. Yeah. Do you know why? A giraffe's neck is so long. Why? Because its head's so far away from its body. Yeah. I mean, that's, that makes that's sense. That's right. factually yeah. true. Mm. It, that sounded like you were sending up for a joke, but then no, you no. didn't. That's just the fact, fact I think. That's a fact. Right. I, appreciate it. I, can, I can make an encounter around it. I like that. I never leave hungry. your side. Oh. That's my girl. <laughs> so you two know each other then? Yes, yeah. we travelled together for some time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've known uh, Horatio for a very long time now. Mm -hmm. He's a good friend and a good distraction. Mm. <laughs> for what? I am. Uh, uh, for uh, dancing. dancing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm picking up some. I'm there. picking up some. I don't know. I'm not great with social some cues, but just generally weird vibes. <laughs> Oh no, we travel <coughs> together. Sneaky, of course, is, uh, as her name suggests, quite sneaky. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're a great team. We are indeed, yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. it's a beautiful day when a team of two becomes a team of four. I hear that. I hear that. <laughs> as we say back where I come from, two friends is good, four friends is foursome. <laughs> I Sorry. love it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you? Absolutely. It's the best way to work, generally. Yeah. You love foursome? Awesome? Arab doesn't get it. I don't oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Nothing lovely. better than a foursome, am I right? I mean. I mean. How do you feel about that? Oh, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> uh, um, sounds fun. <laughs> I could explain if you ladies needed less. <laughs> I wish you can think of a couple things better than a foursome. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God. At this point, the uh, the <coughs> tavern owner Alex comes over to ask for your your bill. So uh, I'll take a, go a silver piece from each. Shut up! Shut up! No. I'll take I'll take four silver pieces from you, please. I accept this, ladies. Oh, <laughs> yes, uh, and, and Horatio. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> uh, so find under your inventory tab, you'll find uh, some money up in the top right corner of it. Um, you'll see some money in there, I imagine. 
Oh, yes. You should. Just yep. going to teach you how to use money. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. And, so. oh, oh, I have three silver, seven copper, and uh, 26 gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, nice. So each, uh, it's 10 to 10 to 10 to 10. So uh, okay. 10 copper to a silver, 10 silver to a gold, 10 gold to a platinum. So uh, you can oh, yeah. mark off one of the gold and then mark on uh, six more silver for okay. your change. Uh, where is the money? Thank you. Maybe under, I don't have any money. Under your... <laughs> you will have something. Uh, under your inventory, let's mm. have a little Horatio. Uh, inventory tab. And then top right corner, you have somehow... What is that? Oh! I total know, currency. I don't know how you have 190 gold, but apparently oh. it says you have 190 gold. <laughs> oh. I'll, have to, I'll have to review that at some point. Ring a ding. Uh, don't review that it wrong. <laughs> I don't, know how, I don't know how that happens. <laughs> that shouldn't be the case at your, uh, your level. Um, but you mark off your uh, money for the uh, for the for the breakfast, and you set off towards uh, towards the outskirts of town to head towards Darkwood. Um, there's a um, oh, uh, wait a moment, and you turn God, to see the um, you turn bloody. to see the mayor um, walking. Uh, walk, walk <laughs> Man. Has she done anything to us? <laughs> oh, I don't know. She just kind of rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> just from her existence. Just generally. <laughs> she st- comes uh, stumbling towards you guys with uh, some sort of uh, some sort of fabric uh, held in one hand. She says, uh, "I just thought of. Um, I'm glad I caught you before you st- uh, left. Uh, I've got something that could help you on your on your journey. Uh, better than uh, me to have it." Uh, <laughs> just immediately, <laughs> zip. Uh, you you grab it and whoop, it almost takes you out of the air because it's a big, thick, heavy cloak. Okay. Um, uh, it's got really, really nice clasps on it, and it's got a it's kind of like an arcane shimmer to it. Ooh. Uh, she says, uh, "This uh, is a cloak of protection. Uh, whoever wears it is a little bit harder to hit, a little bit more uh, able to withstand certain forces. Um, uh, unfortunately, it comes." from uh, acting high sorcerer Leofil, and so... And you hold it up and realize that on the back of it, it says in huge letters, <laughs> uh, let Leofil protect you. And it's a big picture of, of him, like, it's, like, it's basically <laughs> propaganda right. uh, on his uh-huh. behalf, because he's, like, campaigning around the, 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 the uh, a- around <laughs> Azurim. So uh, I didn't think it was really suit my attire normally, but, uh, you know, maybe in Darkwood, nobody pay attention to that. Up to you which one wears it. Uh, mm. hope it doesn't cause a riff. And then she <laughs> bids, you, bids you adieu. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, thanks you again mm. for, your, for your work and, uh, and heads off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever chooses to take this, uh, I don't know if there's fighting among you for it, but uh. whoever chooses it gets a plus one to their armor class and their saving throws. I look at it and I think, that's some of the worst merch I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no thanks, I'm good. <laughs> OK. Mm. Um, well. I genuinely think, like, whoever has the worst armor class. Is that too meta? Am I allowed to no, do I mean, that? You can, you can look around and be like, <gasps> I'm Google a is not even wearing so it. So I will let one of the beautiful ladies wear this <laughs> What's everyone's... I got a 10. I, oh, I don't know. Oh, I got right. Mine's 15. Oh. I got 11. Oh. So you're the <laughs> weakest well, or, like, most That most doesn't make sense. I am a big, strong <laughs> man. Which I'm... means you're you relatively easy to hit. You're a big target, <laughs> that's why. I think that you might actually be the weakest of us all. Oh, yeah. Weakest of you all? Yeah. No, 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 it's not possible. I got big biceps, I've got big horns, I got big uh, a belt and big flaps. There's no way, I'm very strong. That might be true, but your, um, your AC is the lowest of the party. My AC is the... Now, how, on, how in the heck does that work? You know what? It's almost like it's my first time playing this game and I didn't make my character properly. <laughs> oh. Maybe. Maybe. All right, yeah, maybe you have that then. How did I manage this? <laughs> you didn't choose any armor. Like, apparently you didn't pick any gear. You just kept it all as gold. <laughs> that's probably, oh, that's probably no. what happened. <laughs> I think that's probably what happened. You don't have much in your way of equipment under your inventory. I don't think you actually bought anything to start the game with. You just kept money instead. Can I change that? We can probably work that out between between sessions. Um, so uh, you can have uh, you can have the cloak if you want it. It'll make your armor class eleven rather than a ten, uh, and it'll increase one to each of your saving throws as well. Ladies, do one of you want it? Oh. Mm. I'm easy. 
Look, um, I nearly did your accent again. <laughs> um, I am tempted to get, because I feel a bit weak on this land. Like, I don't know mm. much about the gravity, as we saw with my dance. Mm. Um, you landed on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm worried about this message on the bat. Who's that guy? Like, I'm worried that if I'm wearing that, I'm going to look... I don't know, I just feel like I could be judged or something. It could, mm. it could work it's out in our favour, mm. yeah. Do, so I'm wary of that. Do we know who... Uh, you would all know from just being uh, around Azrim for the last few months that uh, since, uh, since the high sorcerer Baradun went missing several months ago, uh, the guy who wink, stepped, wink. Up, the guy who stepped ah. up to take the mark is uh, the <gasps> acting high sorcerer, uh, Leothil. And he is um, he's very uh, well... What's the word? He's uh, well respected in the community, generally speaking. Oh, okay. Uh, he's a bit, of a, a bit <laughs> of a political brown noser. Uh, people know that he's kind of like, ah, he's, he's, he's probably only doing things for political gain, but he is actually making making differences okay. uh, the, against the war of the or uh, the third war with the orcs that's happening at the moment. Um, uh, he is actually, you know, providing resources to the army and stuff. So people are generally. Uh, um, public opinion of him is relatively high. Oh, I'll take that in, thanks. All right. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, yeah, no, go ahead. Ahead. no do you, I feel like you need it. I don't. <laughs> Are you sure? I think I have well, well, we'll find out. <laughs> when you start to get absolutely annihilated in battles and you're like, I should do something about my armor class. You know what? I've got my bottle I can hide in, so maybe you should take it. <laughs> I feel like it's a bit selfish me having a bottle and a cloak. <laughs> Oh, right. I'll, yeah, you, I'll yeah. wear the cloak. Thank yeah. you. Alrighty, Horatio. Um, that looks really good on I will, you. I will, oh, I'll add it to your, <laughs> I'll add it to your inventory now. The worst Thank merch you. you've ever seen. No. Uh, as you, I would never wear it. As you drape it over your shoulders, uh, the clasps <laughs> clack together, almost magnetic style, and then you see that the um, uh, the, the cloak grows a little bit to suit your uh, your stature. It oh, seems oh, like as a, as a magical cloak, it will it will uh, adjust its size to the wearer. Um, all right, cloak of protection. I'm just going to chuck that on your inventory here. That's now in your inventory. You've got an armor class of 11 and a plus one to all of your saving throws, which is going to be useful. Ooh. All righty. So uh, you set off out of Dimwood uh, towards the Darkwood Forest uh, proper, towards the uh, the settlement that is all of the... I, I, was, I can't think of any other way to say it than scum and villainy <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> of the land of, of, uh, of Darkwood. Uh, you're, walking, you're walking for um, maybe an hour or so. Uh, I'll have a perception check from each of you along the way to see if you are Good noticing Britain's anything about the woods. Dimwood, that is a way. D12. Oh, jeez. Oh, I get them confused no, all the She's time. Rolling a D12. Oh. You should be rolling oh. a d20. Oh, I, I was telling Brit that it was a d12. 11. Uh oh, I got eleven. Oh, net one, great. Good oh my start. God, I got a three. Nine nice. plus three. Eleven plus five. Oh. Ooh, nice. Sixteen, Let's twelve. Uh, nat one and a three over here. Yeah. Um, plus three, so six. <laughs> You're just distracted by your new cloak. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you are noticing a couple of times there is uh, there are uh, patches of blood on the forest floor and uh, over leaves and such like there's been animals wounded mm. in the area. Hey, um, there's patches of blood on the floor like animals. Have been, I just want to get it just up. Make sure. <laughs> yeah, everybody else everybody knows. knows. So then I'm looking at the ground and I'm seeing all these patches of blood on the ground, which would uh, indicate animals perhaps being wounded. Just so you mm -hmm. guys are aware of that. Oh, I information. completely missed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you oh. Oh. What? Ah. What, is it me? No, 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 you're wonderful. Um, can you not, s look, look at all this stuff on yeah. the ground. There's just, oh. uh, the oh. moss, the moss is fine. No. It's actually very no, no, comfortable. No. The blood. Oh. The blood. And the bones. <laughs> Do you mean the blood of the trees? The tree sap? No. no. I mean, human blood. Human blood. Oh, you're talking about the blood red sky, the beautiful sunrise. No, I'm talking about that right head there. right there. Look right there. The, oh, look where? There. Look where? Oh. There. Where? Oh. There. Oh. Where? Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, once or twice you actually see a dead animal as well and... Uh, hey, look, a dead animal <laughs> and a second one. Uh -huh. And upon investigating, you realise they've been uh, exsanguinated, devoid oh. of blood. Oh. Someone stole oh, my breakfast. No. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Delicious. Do you realise that you know Stephanie, as she mentioned, is a hunter that hunts in these woods and and, mm. uh, and satiates her own. <laughs> I, I, um, I just yell, Stephanie! <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie! <laughs> there is no, there's no response. Oh, it's not no. Stephanie. It may not be Stephanie. I feel like if it, she were here, she would have come. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. 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 <laughs> she does come a lot. Um, that <laughs> is. 
Uh, you you mm. continue walking, however. Uh, you get closer and closer to Darkwood, and uh, you hear the sound of uh, of a river rushing through the, uh, the Oh, the God! Woods bring it on! Damn it! Where is it? It is right here. <laughs> oh, water! I'm not... <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> So as you uh, as you approach the riverbend, uh, you see there is a, a a small section where the uh, where there are two waterfalls and a little bend. It, because it's a bend in the river, it's slightly slower uh, running water, and so it's going to be the uh, easiest place to cross. Uh, someone of your height, stature, and build could easily wade across something like this. You can fly, of course. Um, but as you get closer to it, uh, you encounter. A problem in your group. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to cross running water. Like, ah. not even with someone helping you. Ah, bro. <laughs> so you just literally have to stay there forever. Yeah. It just happens someone's... to be a part oh. of the old vampiric curse. I, um, looks like I'm gonna have to go around. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> go ar oh, around. Time. Well, hang on, oh, man. Oh my goodness. Surely you can do something to help. That's what I'm thinking. Why am I speaking like you? <laughs> oh my god, stop! By the end of this campaign, every NPC, every PC, everyone in this game is just southern. It's just southern, yeah. Um, We're all southern gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, here it is, yeah. Blast. I suppose I could. Dang and blast it. Damn. Damn. God damn! Um, yeah, surely I could do. I'm surprised that in our months of travel together, I haven't come across some water with you yet. So or, you, or have you, we, and I forgot. You, you certainly have, and here's how it plays out usually. Uh, as a vampire, if you if you start your turn or just enter running water, uh, clean running water, uh, it's like acid to you cool. uh, and Ooh. hurts a hell of a lot and does damage. Mm. Um, if you want to just cross over running water, you can do so, but it's like a wisdom save to force yourself to do so and mm. it can exhaust you as well. Um, your vampiric powers, certain things that you get from being a vampire, are weakened once you've crossed the water. Mm. The higher above the water you get, the further from the water, um, the less of a less of a difficulty it is to cross. So if you can somehow fly way up and across it, then it's oh, strong not an issue. You, sneaky. Not strong enough to pick up an, uh, a medium-sized human. Oh. Yeah, my she is uh, at biggest a size ca character small. Yeah, my is like uh, strength is six. <laughs> you got a negative two strength. Yeah. She can barely hold her own weight. What can you part the water though? I am Jesus, yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, was that Moses? That Moses. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, can I, how, how much volume of water is here? Like uh, a lot, right? Quite a lot. Like it's I can't a river just bend. lift it? It's a river bend and it's fast flowing. Like <laughs> oh, to part damn. it, it'd be like part it and then this would start to, like you'd put a dam in it and it would be a case of timing it very quickly, get across before this oh. suddenly. Well, you can certainly can you try, you are a water gymnast. Uh, yeah, what, what about? Uh, I carry arrow on my shoulders and Buble maybe walk beside us and suck just the water around us as we cross. Oh, so sort of oh. move it as you walk. Is yeah. That That's clever. Yeah, I wonder if I can do that, can I? You can certainly look at your, you look at your character sheet and you tell me what do you what, what have you I, got that you might be able to use. I can shape use? water. Bingo. Yeah. Oh. All right, what does shape water say it can do? It says, <clears throat> you can choose an area of water that you can see within range and fits within a five foot cube mm -hmm. and I can manipulate it. Mm -hmm. So I can change the flow of the water up mm -hmm. to five feet in any direction. Um, you can cause the water to form into simple shapes. Um, change the water's color or opacity. I can freeze it, provided there's no creatures. Are there for creatures in the water? I guess it's a river, probably. Um, if it's fast moving, I wouldn't say there'd be anything. Other than yeah, being this is D and D world. Though. It's just just salmon, just <laughs> <laughs> in the in in, in oh, the same so exact got, place. Why didn't they have eggs, Benny? Then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> valid question. <laughs> Guess there's no salmon. We've already established this session somehow. This is <laughs> no salmon, salmon has come up twice. <laughs> somehow we've already established the world building does not have salmon in this part of the world. So therefore, there's no salmon in the river. Can only clean uh, sound. If I freeze it. Mm -hmm. Can Arrow walk over it? No. I mean, you'd be freezing a five foot cube of fast flowing river, <laughs> and so uh -huh. it would go. <laughs> oh, and then uh, it would just fly, it would just fly so you away. Could then jump onto it very quickly to get over, but then you'd be within five feet of the water surface, and mm. you'd mm. still pretty dangerous. How do I want to do this? Do um, you, mm -hmm. you want to um, hold back the water while we cross, manipulate just the shape of the water around where we are? Mm. I mean, yes, I would love to do that if I can yeah. do that. So, like a personal bubble shield around. Yeah, and, and you're you can... holding on the shoulders. Yeah, and maybe I'll give you the cloak for just in case. <clears throat> oh, that's okay. I've got a high armor class. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, seems like everybody's got a high armor class. <laughs> <laughs> Arrow, 
I would like to offer you this cloak of protection. You're welcome. Oh. I... Yeah, to protect you, you know, because you're quite vulnerable. So oh, no, I'll no. just get, you I... can have that. It's okay. I've got a really, really high armor class. Like, I've got really good armor, so I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you are um, fragile like a little flower, and you, re you really need this. Oh, I really appreciate the gesture, except that I don't need it because I'm like, Super. Like I might look fragile, but I'm freaking. You, I'm sturdy. What, in what this. armor have you got? Oh man, this is like the thickest armor. Like it doesn't look very thick, but it could. You could stab it with your horn, and you wouldn't be able to get through. Oh, okay. But yeah, go on, try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See. Okay, great. You know what? That's fine. I guess nobody. Because I've already offered it to the other guys, and nobody seems to want my cloak. So, you know, you're yeah, so strong, can't even get my horn through it. I guess I'll just. That's all right. <laughs> um, okay, Bubble would like to make a bubble. Alrighty, so, uh, Horatio, can you give me an athletics check to see how easily it is to, for you to, uh, to pop arrow up onto the shoulders? Athletics? Oh, I got a plus six. That's a good start. What, d20? Come on, big numbers. <laughs> oh, 16 nice. plus... Six. Twenty-two. Nice. Twenty-two, easy enough to uh, to hop up. Are you doing like uh, like a, a donkey ride sort of, sh uh, sitting on the shoulder blades, as it were, legs over the front, or is it like more like gymnast holding, like actually standing on the shoulders? Oh, what I, what I, what roll what? maybe standing on the shoulders. Standing on the shoulders gets you further from the water, That's a great but <laughs> it is it will require an acrobatics check because you're doing like a gymnastic I trick at that point. Great at acrobatics, plus one. All right, so we're going for Perfect. gymnasts standing on the shoulders, or, holding the back of the ankles. Or is it athletics? Yes, yeah, so it will be acrobatics. I it's literally an acrobatics athletics. act to stand on somebody's shoulders. Part of it's something you'll see at a circus. It's pretty athletic literally too. A, it's, pretty, it's, a, it's, a, it's literally an acrobatic 17, act. 17, 18. So nice. 18. All right, 18 is enough. You manage to uh, to to you do the whole <laughs> hop up thing. I've actually done this at gymnastics and stuff before. Mm. You you grab the arms. You put out your back leg so that they've got something to jump off. You put your foot onto the the calf and then you pop the leg to push them up. And then you're up onto the shoulders. We're going to recreate this perfectly in the green screen right oh, now. Wait. <laughs> Hop on, Arrow! <laughs> wow! You are light as a feather. My goodness, now, I hope you're not afraid of water. Don't worry, just hold on tight to me. Whoa! Not that tight! Gee Louise! I haven't had a woman hold on that tight to my big shoulders since I was having sex with a woman. And that was amazing and really incredible work. Um, you're, you're standing up on the shoulders, uh, hands around the calf, um, and you walk towards the water's edge. How's Sneaky gonna get across though? How am I gonna do it? Like, Fuck you, River. Yeah. <laughs> Can I draw boobies in the O? <laughs> <laughs> We're playing this tavern and our name is... The Un... Dead uncles. Yes. <laughs> yes. And we're here to rock your world. I keep you around for how good you are at drawing boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious night for fishing, fishing. wouldn't Why? you say? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the elephant's trunk so long? Why? 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 Because its nostrils are far away from its mouth. Oh, no, uh, true. That's true that's again. Good. That's true again. That's good. Yeah, that's I love also it. true. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to see these animals. No. Animal. Animal. What do you call sea lions? Oh, it's a very good point. <laughs> sea lions? 